Well, this is another <clears throat> short video of another one of my guitars, and this one is an Esquire, um, and it's a home build, one of three I've got, and uh, this one is the oldest one. Um, it's probably 30 year old, I think, um, and it's been it's been around the block a bit, and it's a lot of sentimental value with this guitar. Um, it's got its own story. So I'll get started because it's quite a story, but the body, I think I bought the body of um, Alan Dingwell a long, long time ago. And I put, I think I had a different neck on at the time when I, when I first got it. And, and I can't remember what color it was, but at the time, this was in the 80s, I worked for a company and I had a customer down in Middlesbrough and the guy I knew there used to do a little bit of spraying in his own time, you know. And I gave him the body to, to paint for me and uh, he took it away and uh, basically I couldn't get it back from him. He had it for ages and every time I wanted to pick it up, he was making excuses and it was doing me head in and I you know in the end I went down there one Saturday morning he said he'd leave it out with his mother and uh, I picked the body up and it was an absolute mess you know he, he spread it um, and I, I presume he used two pack paint on the body because it wasn't dry it was still tacky so he obviously hadn't mixed in the uh, the hardener properly and, and so on but I got the guitar home and put it in the loft. I was so pissed off with it. So I just left it in the loft. And it was up there quite a while, I think. And a long, long time, actually, because I think the next time it surfaced, I was working at Land Rover. Um, and we had a guy there, a valet there, who, young lad, real good lad, good, you know, good friend, and he, um, we, we got on talking about it and uh, he said, look, why don't you bring it in? I'll sand it all down and paint it for you and everything. So uh, so I did. And um, anyway, when it come to the colour, I just said, look, you pick a colour, I don't care. Just do whatever colour you want. And he decided to paint it candy apple red. So that's what he did. And bear in mind the body it was in such a bad way um, the paintwork came back it wasn't great but it was okay you know he'd done his best with that he could with it you know um, and I got the, the guitar back and then I bought a neck for this one from America um, from Stuart MacDonald and uh, a very nice neck as well and I'm just going to show you just briefly up here. Come on. It's got a dodgy decal on, but that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, once I got the neck on, done all these electrics as you do, redone everything. Um, problem I had with it was that so the, the guitar was candy up a little red at the time, metallic. Um, the pickup was the issue because um, I had various different pickups in this guitar and it just seemed to me that it didn't matter what pickup I put in it, I couldn't get the guitar to sound as good as my other Esquires, well, the black one especially, you know. So it was doing me head in. So this guitar always get well, nine times out of 10 got left at home and uh, always used as a spare at gigs, you know, and um, and so because I, I couldn't get the right sound out of it, no matter which pickup I put in it. Um, anyway, eventually I gave up trying all these different pickups, and I thought, well, my black Esquire has got a, a bare knuckle pickup in it um, called Boss of the Boss Pickup. And it's fabulous. So I thought, well, why not stick the same pickup in this? 
So I did put one in and hey presto, guitar sounds fabulous. Um, so next thing, I'd been talking to a friend of mine um, about how much paint on the body of the guitar affects the sound. Um, and too much paint isn't good for letting the sound, you know, come through. So I got thinking about it and maybe being impulsive as I am, um, I decided to uh, to sand off the, the red paint. And this was about probably 10 years after leaving Land Rover, by the way, after the guitar was painted. Um, so yeah, one Saturday, I started sanding all the paint off the body and I got half of it off and I got a message on my telephone um, of a friend of mine telling me the bad news that Brian, the lad who painted it for me, had died the night before and he took his own life. And um, and there was, I mean, I was devastated enough about, about that um, because he was a good friend, a really nice guy, married, children, and uh, and there's me taking his paint off the guitar. So I felt really weird about the whole thing and uh, didn't know what to do. So I put the guitar down again and left it. And then about a week later, I decided to take it all off because I didn't know what else to do. So I took off all the red paint um and then I uh I coated the wood with tongue oil, you know, give it a good sand and coated it with tongue oil and uh I'll just show you the back. Um and I haven't tried to get this guitar perfect by any way because to make it as a they're meant to be played um such an instrument that that should be uh, should be played. I, I always change these, by the way, to this type because the original Telecaster type are rubbish, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, it's um, let's get that in focus. There, you can still see some of the red shining through a bit there, but um, and now this guitar's had quite a lot of play um, it's a good neck um, there's just Wilkinson tuners but it's um, yeah so this guitar was uh, initially it was a Telecaster two pickups um, but I quickly took out the rhythm pickup as I always do and uh, I can't remember which way I've got a wide at the moment on here. I keep changing stuff, you know. But uh, guitar plays great, sounds great. And it's got this emotional attachment with my old pal uh, Brap, as his nickname was. So this guitar gets called the Brap... What do I call it now? <laughs> the Brapcaster. Um, and it's... As I say, I've got this emotional attachment to this guitar. And uh, so this one is one of my, one of my best guitars. But then again, I say that about all my guitars because they all are good. And, uh, and that's the Brabcaster.